today is the wind down and it is june and june is men's mental health month so we are going to talk about men's mental health different topics to help prioritize it things i feel like need to be talked about maybe people don't want to talk about it but it should be talked about and today i have my created five bliss cups it smells so pretty with my happy dreamers coat so remember to shop small because it is a big deal first thing that i want to say People really, 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 really have to stop telling men that it's okay to share their emotions and then the minute that they do, you want to call them sassy or the minute that they do, you want to call them gay or the minute that they do, you want to talk bad about them and this generation of men is this, that, third, blah, 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 blah. Listen, y'all, men and women do it. Everybody does it. You can make the argument that women do it more than men. However you want to do it, honestly, it's no comparison. Like, it's no competition. It just needs to stop. It's really backhanded, y'all. People go on social media and have these fake personas. Like, you cannot go on social media and gas this up and say, oh, yeah, you can be your authentic self and you can be really you and you can be real. But the minute that you do, I'm going to gaslight you. And the minute that you do, I'm going to make fun of you. And the minute that you do, I'm going to question your masculinity. Like, stop. First and foremost, I don't know what the obsession is with people's sexuality. I think it's weird. I don't care what you like. I don't care how you want to identify yourself. I'm going to respect how you want to be identified. I'm going to respect your pronouns. I'm going to respect your sexuality because why not? Like, I really don't understand the disconnect between like how I think and how other people think because I just don't understand why it matters to me what you do with your life. You know what I'm saying? Like why do people care but you know i ask that question and a lot of the times the number one answer that i get is you know like a biblical answer people like to tie religion into it i'm not going to even step on that too much but all i have to say is your religion isn't telling you to be hateful towards anybody so please do not use your religion as a scapegoat to treat people like trash because that's just not what we're doing and that's not how we're living and as far as men's mental health i really feel like we need to talk about manhood. When did manhood equate to being tough? Why does manhood have to be so hard? Why isn't there any softness in manhood? You know, like I have friends who have their wine down, their, their wine downs, and they sip wine and have self care days. Like they'll do face masks, they'll get pedicures, they'll get manicures. And that's perfectly fine. That's, that that does not make them sassy. Like, the whole sassy train is annoying. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I feel like people hop on these social media trains and, like, stuff that people say. And, like, they think it's funny and they think it's cool, these trends. Like, whatever. Cool, yeah, cool. You're cool on the internet. Like, that's fun. But, like, now what? Like, what are you doing to better the world? What are you doing to better the community? How is what you're doing making anybody feel better? You don't feel any better bringing somebody else down and the person that you brought down doesn't feel any better. So where do we go from here? I just feel like we need to learn how to understand that things aren't black and white. Manhood doesn't mean, oh, you got to be this hard, hard man. And no, I am not saying that all men have to be soft or however you want to put it. I'm just saying that all men have and should have the ability to have soft times you you're human we are human like stop making this a gender thing like a man can have feelings men can cry women can cry men and women and people and we can feel like that's okay like that should not have to be said but it does have to be said because common sense ain't so common, baby. So you got to explain it to people. And that's okay too. But I just really feel as though we have to do better as a community just not being hypocritical. Don't just be a good person online. Don't just be a good person on the internet. Really practice what you preach in the real world and try to help other people who may not have that same mindset at the moment. Try to help them elevate. One thing I can't get with is somebody who wants to be unteachable ignorance i can deal with i can deal with ignorance because we all don't know something 
So we are all ignorant to some degree. We're not geniuses in everything. Nobody is perfect. And that's fine. That's what I can deal with. If you are willing to be taught and willing to understand and grow and learn, we good. But if you are somebody who refuses to be teachable and you just want to be stuck in your ways, then I, I just can't, I can't do nothing for you. Like I can't do nothing with you. All I can do is tell you that whenever you're ready, I'll still be here. But I'm not going to force anybody. I'm not going to... I'm not going to get upset with anybody. Like, I'm just not going to do that because it's obviously just not your time yet. Everybody can't go to the top. I had to leave some people. We all can't We all can't elevate at the same time. So that's just what it is, and that's just how it's going to be. But we can still come together as a community and do our best to really elevate and help people. The next thing I want to talk about is the gender cold war we have going on. It's not cute. It's not cute. It's not cool. It, it needs to stop. What are we really doing here? Why is it that men and women feel the need to be at war? And they not going to want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Be mad as you may, but you see it the most in the black community. It's embarrassing. Stop it. I don't like it. What are we talking about? What are we arguing about? We're arguing about 50-50. We're arguing about nonsense. We're arguing about who pays the bills. We're arguing about if men are sassy. We're arguing about this. We're arguing about that. And wrong, 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 wrong. First and foremost, what we really need to do is to stop looking to outlets, including social media, for relationship advice, period. Now, I say that to say this. Of course, you can go online and, you know, talk to your peers and talk to your mutuals about things. You know, you want to have certain opinions. You want to have regular, regular, smegular banter. That's normal. Human communication and social interaction is normal. But what I'm saying is don't take that as set in stone. Don't take that as, you know what I'm saying? That's law. That's therapy. No, it's not. It's not. It's just not professional. It's, it's, it's just not what it is. It can always be a stepping stone. It can always help you get ideals and different perceptions and stuff like that. But it's not just, you know, it's not the final say. So don't make social media your only source of information. Like, that's not cool. Let that be your first source and then branch out. Branch out and try to get some different testimonials from people who went through it. Try to read some books. Try to get into some documentaries, some articles. Like, there's different ways for you to learn different things. Take the time to go out of your way and research. But, back to the Cold War. Men and women, they be arguing over what? What are we really arguing about? I feel like as women and as men, as people, we need to do our best to uplift each other in all aspects, in all life. Like, I don't even understand where we got this notion from where we need to listen to somebody else for how our relationships need to be. But I, I, I personally don't believe in that. I personally don't believe that there is a set model for relationships. Like when they go on and on about the uh, men paying 100% of the bills or women paying 50% of the bills or women taking care of the home and all these other things. Like do what's best for your home, please. Do what's best for your home. Do what, do what you and your partner worked out and what works for y'all. What works for you may not work for me. And what works for me may not work for you. And that's okay. But when you find what works for you, stop trying to throw it on other people. And stop trying to say what they do is wrong. Now you're just a hypocrite. How would you like it if somebody told you what you're doing is wrong? Do what works for you. Stop trying to always be in a battle. Stop trying to be at war. Help each other. Men and women have this battle going on and for what? For what? We're stronger together. We're stronger as a pair. We're, we're always going to be stronger when you take your knowledge and my knowledge and you feel my ignorant voice and I feel your ignorant voice and we become stronger and more knowledgeable together. That's what I'm on. So if you're not trying to grow and learn with me, then what are we doing? If that's not what you're on, then, you know, maybe it's time to reevaluate and try to figure out what is it that you really want out of life and if it is what you're on like, if it's still aligning with your goals, then cool. But if it's not, then just reevaluate and say, okay, maybe I need to be more intentional with what I'm doing. Maybe I need to be more intentional with what I say. Maybe I need boundaries. Maybe I need to stop being so, so superficial with the things that I consume. It's just food for thought. And the last thing that I want to talk about is self-care for men. Um, there, there is no set way to self-care. And self-care.
hair isn't always gonna be some grand, sexy scheme. I'm sorry to tell y'all, like you don't always have to have the rose petals and the, the most expensive candles and the lights and the LEDs and the smoky bubbles. That's cool, that's cute, that's my vibe, but you, ain't, you don't even have to do all that. You don't even have to do all that. You can simply wash your face, a regular, regular face wash day, cut on some tunes, lay down in the bed, and you're done. You can go outside, go play basketball for the day, come inside, take you a nice bath, finish it out with a nice shower, eat your favorite meal, and you're done. You can go buy yourself your favorite snack and take it in for the day. You can even have you a productive day, and that's your version of self-care. Self-care is different for everybody, because guess what? It's for yourself. It's individualistic. Nobody can tell you how to do your self-care, but I do think some things that everybody should do is prioritize their sleep, set goals, set boundaries, be intentional, and please make sure to pray. And if you don't pray, please make sure to journal. Do something that you have a a good release you know what i'm saying a good positive outlet so that you're not keeping all your emotions bottled up i feel like that's something that we see in all people but especially men because men don't always have that safe space we don't always give men that safe space that we proclaim to be out there and we need to stop and we got to do better and we got to have some accountability and if it takes a woman to say it then it takes a woman to say it but we got to do better because everybody's space should feel safe it doesn't just start with women when you start making it like that when you start becoming so sexist they're not even gonna they're not even going to take women's claims seriously because you're not even gonna take me serious why would i take you serious like come on now we gotta help each other out it has to be an equal bond it needs to be in such a way that we shouldn't even have to have these conversations it should just be natural but we're not there yet, and that's okay. And if this is the stepping stone, if this is the breaking point that we need, a whole bunch of people coming together as a community and saying, hey, we need this to be more natural. We need men's mental health to just be mental health. We need mental health to just be health. And that starts with us. So that was the wind down. Thank you so much if you listen to the full episode. If you're listening on YouTube, please make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of the notifications. If you are listening on Apple or Spotify, hey, make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all follow me on there as well. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all, I want to let you know that right now I am hosting a free self-care giveaway. I am giving away a free self-care box because I am almost at 200 subscribers mind you y'all are the best community and i want to thank you so i'm giving away a free self-care sunshine box and all you have to do is buy me a wing what is that it's free go onto my blog page you will see the link inside the description and buy me a wing tell me what you love about my youtube channel tell me what your favorite episode is or just tell me that you're a supporter or just say hi whatever you want to do just remember you are amazing you are worthy you are blessed and you are the best i will see y'all next time bye